This Saturday, so I'm riding again. Yeah. Taking the YZ426 out. Hopefully there'll be four of us. It's been a long time since there's been a group of us. I love this song. Hmm. Gonna go Tangil. I think it's Tangil. Probably Tangil. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's Tangil. Stupid traffic lights. Slowing me down and shit. I've got places to go, man. Or just tuck in here. I've got a couple of things to do to the bike before I uh, take it out. My clutch has been super hard to pull in. Like, this is a dream. Super nice. But the YZ's just so stiff. I can't picture what it is because it doesn't, the clutch doesn't slip. So I know the plates are fine. I should do a bit more research into it, but but I, I can't imagine being the clutch springs because over time, how can they get stiffer? It's a wet clutch. It should be lubricated. And I'm damn good with my oils. Once again, another fucking red light. Oh, what are, what are you? Look at that. No, no, no. Looks old. Looks good. I do like the lights in the middle of the bikes, just dead center. Man, take your time. Yeah. So yeah, I can't figure it out. It's super stiff. And I know it never used to be. And I threw my head in. Uh, I did, because I'm a cheap bastard, and I crash a lot. Uh, I replaced, repla bleh, replaced my front brake lever with uh, <laughs> my atomics lever, because that engine's fucked, so I just take the bits and pieces off. They fit, they fit fine, kind of. It's a bit loose, but, I mean, it does the job, and it saves me some money. But the quality is, is actually a lot different. The, well, not this bike, but on my YZ, and I guess this bike too, on the Japanese bikes, the levers are very round on the ends, on the ends where your fingers touch, very smooth, and the atomics are kind of square, and I tell you what, over time, it starts to hurt. Call me a bitch if you want, but, right, I got bitch hands, I guess, but it hurts. And uh, the adjustment screw on my uh, clutch perch, that fucked up. So I put the entire perch and lever from the Atomic onto my YZ as well. And that hurts also. And uh, a friend of mine, unfortunately, had a 02, no, 03 YZ250F. And he had a 05, I think it was an 05, maybe, a, I don't know. Well, 05 WI and 03 YZ, both 250s and both four strokes. Come on. Ooh, painted lights. But yeah, well, here I'm lucky enough to have a mate like him because 
uh, I get spare parts from his bikes because both of them don't work. Both have engine problems and they're just in bits and pieces. So I got the rear wheel off his WR because I put a hole in my rim. So I got that straight fit, fucking perfect. And now I think tonight probably I'm gonna put the uh, clutch perch and clutch lever on. I already, I actually changed with his, I think, WR, I don't know, I put the WR brake lever on, oh, what a difference, it feels amazing, it feels so much better. So that's the easy things. The next thing will be to find out what the hell is going on with my uh, clutch itself. I'm hoping the lever is, the lever will fix it, I doubt it, I really doubt it. I changed the line, I changed a lot of things. Anyway. I'm at my destination, so yeah. I'll continue this later. Whew. Oh, it was a good workout. Kind of. A bit lazy. I was doing more of of a. I don't fucking know. I was just exercising, okay? I can't call it bodybuilding because fuck. Because it wasn't. You know, I gotta wait in the bullshit line. I could go across the median strip. But I can't afford that. Being on good behavior does that to you. It's alright though. Oh, not really. I have to do the uh, safe driving course on Friday. Which gets me off work, but I gotta, you know, sit and watch a bunch of bullshit. I'll probably make a video on what the safe driving program entails. Entails? I think that's a word. I don't know. If it isn't, it's, I made it. Okay? Trademark. Quite a okay. cave. So yeah. Back with the good old YZ. 426F baby and now besides the uh, clutch being a bit of a bitch I've also got the uh, fuck what else have I got to do to it I've also got a compression problem so I'm hoping it's just the valves hopefully it's nice and easy I'd work on it sooner but I'm a lazy prick and I've got a WB to do Ugh. I've got an engine swap for a WB and I've also got a very full garage It's just full of shit. So full of shit. And it's getting so dark so early. So crap. It's like six o'clock man. Go you. you. I love this song too. Yeah. Well, in fear that this little vlog has gone a little bit too long, I'll say goodbye now. Or now. Maybe later. I'm going to say bye now. Fuck it. Peace. <laughs>